I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We'll take a few multiple choice questions based on sine and cosine law. Most of these questions are from nature and I hope you'll enjoy solving them. We'll also learn about few things as we solve. The question here is very interesting. It's about the Confederation Bridge. Amazing sight. The question here is, the Confederation Bridge links Prince Edward Island with mainland New Brunswick. From one point on the island, the angle of elevation to the highest point on the bridge is 25 degrees. From a point 100 meter closer to the bridge, the angle of elevation is 73 degrees. How high is the bridge to the nearest meter? So that's the question for you. You can always pause the video and answer the question. Okay, let's try to figure it out. So I'll give you a very simple solution. It can be solved in many different ways. Let us say that's the height of the bridge we're looking for. We're making measurements from the right side. So one of the angles is, let's say like this, the, the other angle is from a point which is 100 meters closer. Let's say like this. Okay. So obviously the bigger angle is this one. So I'll write 73 degrees here and the smaller is 25. Now these calculations are very approximate and uh, it's just a mathematical problem which really gives you an approximate idea of the bridge but it's no way exact. Okay. So let's call this point as A to B. We want to find this height and let's call these points as P and Q. How can we solve the problem? Now some of you who have not done sine law and cosine law can use tan, tan ratios to solve, right? We are also given this particular distance from P to Q as 100 meters. Correct? So that should help you to solve this particular problem using tan ratios, right? High distance questions. Now we are going to use sine cosine law to solve this question. Okay, so first step here is to find the angle, the third angle. What should be this angle? Well, 73 is an exterior angle. So 73 should be equal to 25. Let's call this angle as X, right? So it is 25 plus X because this is an exterior angle. So therefore, x is equal to, everything is in degrees, okay. So x is equal to 73 minus 25 in degrees, which is, which is 48, right? So it is 48 degrees. Okay. We definitely need to use calculator to solve this question, right? Okay, so we know this is now 48 degrees. Since we know x, what we can do is that we can find what b to p is right we can find what bp is how do we find that we can use sine theta to figure this out correct okay so yes let's find what bp is so we know bp we need to find that over sine of 25 should be equal to what is known to us is 100 over the angle which we just found, 48 degrees. We'll write this as sine of 48 degrees. Now my solution is going to be a very general form uh, mm. solution, which will give you a general formula to solve such questions. That's the beauty of this. Okay. Uh, so that means we know BP should be equal to 100 times sine of 25 degrees divided by sine of 48 degrees correct so we know b to p right this length now once we know this is that much we can find the height which is a b using tan ratio you get an idea right so we can find the height using tan ratio so we can say that tan of 73 degrees is equal to height um, I'm so sorry 
Uh, since we know BP, we have to use sine ratio, right? So this is opposite side, and that is hypotenuse, correct? So, sorry. So we have to use the sine ratio. So sine of 73 degrees should be equal to height over BP, right? Okay. So from here, we get what height is. So height is equal to BP, this hypotenuse, that is 90 degrees, correct, times sine of the angle 73, which is, BP is 100, right? So let me rewrite this, 100 times sine 25 over sine of 48 degrees, okay, times sine, sine of 73 degrees. Do you see a formula here? All signs, right? So the height can be found if you do this kind of calculation by multiplying this distance, this distance, by sine of angle 25, sine of angle 73, divided by that angle. The difference between the two. Do you get an idea? So you do this calculation. Once you do this calculation with the help of a calculator, then what you get is a value which is close to A, 54 meters. So I'm just writing here approximately equal to 54, right? So, so that is the answer for this particular question, right? So that is how you should be solving. So for now, you should see if you have this kind of a question in a multiple choice, and you need to find height, which is a very common question, right? You could always multiply this distance with sine of these two and divide by sine of difference of these two angles. Does it make sense, right? So that is how you should be solving. I hope that makes sense. The whole idea here is to understand few basic concepts which could really help you to answer similar questions if asked in any test. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.